be able to get the data whether they want to give it or not. Uh, because in Florida, you know, it is against the law to mislead and to misrepresent, particularly when you're talking about the efficacy of a drug. Uh, we see just the other, uh, just recently, Florida got $3.2 billion through legal action against those responsible for the opioid crisis. And so it's not like this is something that's unprecedented. So today, uh, I'm announcing a, a petition with the Supreme Court of Florida to impanel a statewide grand jury to investigate any and all wrongdoing in Florida with respect to COVID-19 vaccines. And we anticipate that we will get the approval for that. Uh, that will be something that will be impaneled, most likely in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, and that will come with legal processes that will be able uh, to get more information and to bring legal accountability for those who committed so misconduct. politicized as as COVID-19. I mean, you've found yourself, we've talked about this many times, at the center of some of that angry debate. Elon Musk just came at you and attacked you. But the latest now, Dr. Fauci, is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He's now asking the Florida Supreme Court to greenlight an investigation into, and the way he put it, is any... Uh, any and all wrongdoing in Florida with respect to COVID-19 vaccines. What's your reaction to that? I don't have a clue, Kate, what he's asking for. I mean, we have a vaccine that unequivocally is highly effective and safe and has saved literally millions of lives. The Commonwealth Fund has come out with a report just this past week that vaccinations that have been administered over this period of time, this last year and a half to two years, has saved 3.2 million lives, 18 million hospitalizations, and approximately $1 trillion in costs. So what's the problem with vaccines? I mean, vaccines are life-saving. So quite frankly, Kate, I'm not sure what, what they're trying to do down there. It kind of gets at a bigger issue I've been wanting to ask you as um, in one of our final interviews um, in in your role in public health is just the re sat one result of the pandemic has sadly been that science has become a divisive topic, politicized and weaponized by some people. Have you thought of how do you pull that back? How do you turn that around? You know, Kate, if I had an easy answer, I, I, I'd give it to you, but it's a very difficult situation. You're absolutely correct. It has been politicized, and it has been politicized in a way that has actually caused lives, because if people don't get vaccinated, which unequivocally is life-saving because of political ideology or because of misinformation and disinformation, that causes lives, and we've just got to get... The American public, regardless of whether you lean left, you lean right, it doesn't matter at all. We're all in this together. We're all human beings and we're all...